sculpt those beautiful legs. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You don't need any equipment at all. You just need to maybe put your hair up in a nice little ballerina bun so you feel like a ballerina. Okay. All I'm gonna be using is a wall, a ledge of a wall. If you have a countertop, like a table or a kitchen counter or something like that or a sturdy chair, that will work just fine as well. It's really just so that you can feel uh, balanced and stable. Right, so let's start with your left hand on whatever equipment that you wanna rest on. So maybe it's a table or a bar or a chair. We're gonna start with some plies. So start about an arm distance away from the wall. The arm should be slightly forward. We're gonna reach the arm out. We're gonna come into a nice little first position. So a little demi plie. Now from here, keep the belly in, keep the spine up nice and tall. You're gonna press and lift, nice job. We're gonna take a little demi plie all the way down and back to demi and back out. So we're going from demi to grand to demi to standing straight, nice. Again, demi to grand plie to demi and up. So a lot of times people skip the second demi plie. So it happens right here, and then you stand all the way up. Good job. Demi and grand and demi and up. Good, keep going. Pull the belly in. You wanna keep the shoulders right over those hips, and you wanna keep the hips right over the heels, right? So I'm not pushing my butt back behind my heels. Everything is staying in line right over those heels. So you may have seen those images where girls balance books on the head. It does kind of feel like you are balancing something on the top of your head. So you wanna feel nice long line from the back, from the spine, the back of the neck. Good, lower down and up. Good again, demi and grunt and demi and out. Two more times like this, demi and grunt. Demi, last time, demi, grand, demi, and up. Nice, we're gonna go back to the demi plie. Demi, keep the heels pressed down onto the floor, pull the lower belly in. Then you're gonna push the heels out, staying exactly where you were, and then press the heels back down. So I'm staying in one plane the whole time. I'm not popping up and down, okay? So we're just gonna lift the heels, lower the heels, lift the heels, lower the heels. So the heels really go out to the side, not really up, but more to the side. Good, 20 and 19, 18, 17. You can try to um, challenge your balance and you can bring the hands together for a little bonus. Nice job, keep the belly pulled in. 10 more like this, and 10, try to stay low. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, you're gonna feel those thighs burning up. Four, three, two, one, and stand up. Nice job, Woo, you should feel those thighs burning. Okay, let's bring the right foot in front of the left. They don't have to be all the way crossed over. You can do a little third position. So let me face you. Use a wall or a ledge or something if you need it. We're gonna just lift up for 10 times. Here we go. Keeping the legs super straight, knees are pulled up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch feet. So left foot's in front and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Nice job. So those legs should definitely be working right now. Okay, so we're gonna face a little bit towards the bar or towards the wall, whatever you're using. We're in first position. We're gonna come up just to about where your calf is. You're gonna reach back and then in. Back and then in. Back, I want you to straighten the leg all the way, not just a little halfy like this, not a wimpy leg. Nice and strong and beautiful like a dagger, reaching. Good, back in, out, 
and in. If this is going well for you, then I want you to take it up a notch and try to bring it up towards your knee and keeping it up at the 90 degree angle. So we're doing 20 like this. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, hold it out there. Now I want you to bend the standing leg, reach the leg down, lift straight and tap. Keep the standing leg bent. So really big bend in there. Pull the belly in. 20 little lifts like this. 20, 19, 18, 17. If the arm reaching out is too much, you can always bring the arm to your hip. I like reaching it out because it makes me feel the entire line from my toes to my fingertips. Good. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. All right, let's go on to the other side. Let's come into a first position on your left side. Let's do a couple of plies on this side. Here we go. Demi and grand. Demi and up. Nice. Demi, grand. You can always take the hand off the bar if you want to challenge your balance. Remember, press the heels into the floor. So I'm pressing the heels into the floor. I'm going all the way down. I'm pressing the heels back into the floor right there to stand up. It's really important. Press the heels. Let them naturally open. Press the heels back down and open. Again, demi and grunt. Demi and up. Demi and grunt. Pull the lower belly in. Feel the line from the top of your head all the way down to your heels. Four more, four. You can add this pretty arm if you like, three. You can follow your fingertips as you move and two, stretch through the fingers. Last one, down, all the way down, forward and up. Let's do a couple of presses here. Come into your dummy plie, press the heels out, back down. I'm gonna turn just so you can see. So dummy and out, dummy and out. But you notice the level of my head is not changing at all. All I'm doing is pushing the heels out and firing up those thighs. Good job. Let's do 10 more like this. 10, you can challenge your balance if you like, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Whew, shake out those legs. They are working. Okay, so on our left side, we're gonna come into a first position. Now, either you did it on at your calf or at your knee. So do whatever you did on the other side. We're gonna reach the leg out back in out back in so if you did it up at your knee then let's go here we go 20 on this side as well 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Lower the leg. We're going to bend the standing leg a lot. Bend the standing leg, but pull up the lower abs. 20 lower and lifts. Remember, make your leg as straight as a dagger. A big, long, straight arrow. Here we go. And lift for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Keep reaching through those fingertips. Feel the opposition of energy reaching nice and long. Your toes are reaching back, your fingertips are reaching forward, and your shoulders are down. Good. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Whew. I am winded. All right. Let's take a nice stretch forward. Stay in your first position. Hold on to your bar. We're just going to take a nice forward fold. And then reach the arms forward and up. Let's take a nice little bend back and up. And again, nice little forward fold. Release the head. Good, place both of the hands down onto the floor. I'm gonna turn forward so you can see me. You're gonna take a nice little dummy play in the knees, keep the head down, and then press the legs straight. Two more times, just like that. Bend the knees with your upper body and ragdoll. One last time, bend the knees. Straighten the legs. And then slowly roll yourself up so that your head comes up last. Let your vertebrae stack up on top of itself. Head comes up last. Nice job. Thank you so much in joining me in our ballet legs class. I had a lot of fun. I love ballet. I grew up dancing ballet and became a professional ballerina. It is seriously the most beautiful athletic art. And so I'm so happy that I can share this.